two men who know nothing. Here we are in the heart of Glencoe. This land tells a story of its people. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, it's incredible. Sam, a lot of your fans know you only as Jamie. So are you excited? Are you nervous? How do you feel that they're finally going to see who you are when you're not James oh Frazier? The real Sam. Yeah. The real Sam? <laughs> Exposed. I think, uh, yeah. I think, oh dear, I, that's probably my career over. But um, no, I think, you know, well, firstly, you know, it was just so fun to, to do something, you know, slightly different. I've obviously loved working on Outlander and the, the Highlanders and the culture of, of of the show was definitely a draw to me. And I think for a lot, many fans, they love Scotland. So um, I think that's why I wanted to do this. And why Graham, you know, we, we decided to make a TV show was to explore it further. And yeah, it, it was just so fun. And obviously we play up to the cameras a little bit, but you get to see, you get to see us, you know, having fun and, and possibly more relaxed than you would in, in Outlander or other TV shows. Well, he, yeah. he was relaxed. Yes, I was, I was yeah. often terrified, but um, yeah. That helped him relax, strangely. Exactly, it is It is interesting. When you sort of stress out and get more anxious mm. or grumpy, it just elates me and I feel happier. And um, it, it elates you? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, some sort of therapy for me. It's great. Wow, wow. Okay, so people could actually almost pay to go on a road trip with me in order to relax by watching me. Yeah, yeah, bored. by watching you get wound up, yeah, or right. have near-death experiences. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it helped me relax, I will say that. Um, exactly, and I know right? a lot of people will obviously be talking about episode two, the very end. There is a skinny dipping challenge. Um, Graham, I'm curious, um, what would you have to say to your fans? Because I'm sure you have fans who are hoping that you would be the one who had the skinny dip in the ocean. Um, right. wh how would you console them if they're disappointed that it wasn't you, but it was Sam? How would I console them? Um, well, all, all I can say is that it was it was such a sweet moment um, when I was able to witness him running in the freezing rain and wind into the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, that, that was, we talk about elation. I mean, that was, that, there's a moment in that episode. Um, it's when I, um, I beat him at the hammer toss. And I, I was so, I fell to my knees. I mean, and, and, and none of this, none of this was scripted at all. So I literally fell to my knees with joy. And, and I know that might seem a little petty, but... Very uh, petty, yeah. <laughs> Very childish. I mean, the, the amount of jubilation and then, and then also like as we were driving to the skinny dipping, I mean, he just, he couldn't contain himself. Smug, well, and it was, I think it's the What word. was so great, we had such great weather. And on the day he had to do that, it was terrible. Oh. And, yeah. and it's not that I delight in watching him suffer like that, but I, by this point, I had been put through quite a lot. I've just, I've just got to say, so. Oh, so it's my fault. <laughs> oh, a little tiny bit. But no, I, I was, it was, it was great. And all credit to him for doing it. All yeah. credit. I would have well, done it, but I'm glad we did. Obviously, you guys go to so many amazing places in Scotland, one of my favorite places to go. What was like the one place or experience where you thought, wow, this is probably the best kept secret in Scotland that people have to know about? Uh, wow. That's tough. Sorry. I mean, I think for, for me, you know, I think we went surfing in Scotland, which I think, you know, people don't really think about Scotland being a surfing destination, but the mm. water is beautiful. The beaches are incredible. Mm. Um, they, they look like they're possibly in Thailand. We have palm trees. It just happens to be a, a little bit cold. But there are no sharks, so I think it's a win all around. But yeah, that for yeah, me. Yeah, surfing was, uh, was really great, actually. Yeah. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it, uh, even though I was terrible at it. Shocking. <laughs>